John Sims, Jr. I represent the uh, 70th District. Well, my, my previous experience is uh, I've been a magistrate in Fleming County for the past six years. And uh, Mike Denham, who was a representative, he called and said he was, he's retiring and uh, he thought I'd be a good fit for the seat. So uh, my wife and I, we talked about it and prayed about it and decided to run. And here we are today. So I've, I've been exposed to it being a master. We always had our legislative training day. We'd come up and you know, we'd hang out with Mr. Denham or Steve West, who's our senator, and kind of follow, you know, mirror, mirror them around and kind of see how the process works. So, you know, being a freshman, I've kind of known my way around. Uh, so it hasn't been bad at all. I come here to do what's right for the people in my district and try to do what's right for the Commonwealth of Kentucky, and uh, that's all we can do. Jobs, education, health care, uh, the main ones. Uh, we have a, a power plant because we're close to Ohio on the river there. It's actually the power plant's in Ohio. It's going to close down next year. And we probably have, they, you know, approximately employ three to five hundred people in that region. And, you know, and, and that affects my counties as a whole because those, those are great paying jobs that they're going to lose. So, you know, getting some uh, more inf infrastructure up there, more business, more jobs. Uh, created is, is one of my goals. Uh, I got a uh, concussion bill I'm going to file today for high school sports. Uh, it's, uh, it, it passed the House last year, mm -hmm. but it, it failed in the Senate. Uh, it's just uh, where if, if, you know, in, in a high school sport or middle school sports, uh, if the player is ex expected of having a concussion, and if there's not a, a physician there to look at them, the, the referee can keep them from coming back in the ball game. You know, it's, it's different than what it was from the past 95 years. But you know, being new, I, I don't know any better. So we're going. You know, I'll, I'll work across the aisle. That's no problem at all on issues, and hopefully they'll work with us and work with me, and we'll, we can move Kentucky forward. Uh, well, I, I don't like too much overreach. You know, uh, let let people do their thing. Private sector do their thing. Uh, education, you know, we got some education bills coming up that are, you know, I'm, I'm for some of them, some of them I won't be for, but it, it's good. Mackenzie Cantrell, Kentucky House District 38 in the south end of Louisville. I'm an attorney for a nonprofit organization. I'm actually still working there, dropped back to part time. And uh, I, it's a civil legal aid organization, sort of like uh, legal aid. Uh, I represent low-income Kentuckians in uh, employment disputes. So usually minimum wage and overtime violations, breach of contract, maybe someone did some, performed some work for someone at their home, maybe uh, tiled their floor or something like that, maybe weren't paid for it. That's been my uh, background. and. Now that's all I'm going to be doing is litigating my cases, but before I, I also had a policy role in, in, my, in my job and I was here a lot and that's what got me comfortable with the idea of state politics and, running, and possibly running for office was that, that exposure. I think women who run for office need to feel comfortable with uh, their confidence level and that you know, they can come here and, and do this job and for me that was seeing it uh, firsthand. Probably the number one thing that I that I heard about was working on the crime and the and drug epidemic. Those two things tend to to go along together. Um, around this time last year, my home was broken into. Uh, at some point during the, during the day, I had a, I have a security system. You know, nothing nothing happened because of it. But there's been a sort of a, a higher um, incidents of car break-ins and, and home invasions and I, you know a lot of us think in the community that it's to fuel the the drug epidemic and um, and so how those two go along with each other and the policy that we that we create here that can sort of stem the flow of that ep epidemic on the ground level is something that I heard about a, a great deal I want to I want to be a part of just you know informing informing policy and you know I don't want to pick and choose a lot because there's you know there's so many bills that are filed and and I, I want to I want to have a voice in a lot of different areas I want to have a voice in our charter school legislation I want to have a voice and I think I expressed my voice pretty clearly on the right to work and prevailing wage bills that we've already heard sometimes that's going to be a voice of opposition like it was that that first week on those bills but I also want to be a voice of of, of reason, I'm gonna, we're going to be filing a, a bill with a, one of my colleagues in the majority party around employment law, which is what I have experience in. I'm going to be working to do what I told people I was going to do, which is uh, combating drugs and crime in our area. So really giving uh, some attention to where I have experience, but also 
being determined and committed to learn more. Um, I'm, I'm really concerned about infrastructure in, in, in my city. So, you know, the sky's the limit now. I, I, you know, I feel so empowered. And in some ways, it's, uh, we're going to have to be a voice of opposition. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did when I was standing on the doorsteps of people asking for their vote. I'm going to find the common ground that I can find with them. I'm going to share in that common ground. I'm going to learn more about that person. And if we, you know, have to agree to disagree on some issues, then, then so be it. We're going to be professional. We're going to be respectful. We're going to be polite. And we're going to all do our jobs that, that our district sent us here to do. And I think that's, that's what we all should do. The campaigns are over. Let's, let's get to work and really uh, just make sure we're creating the best policy that we can.